Hi guys. I created this web app that I thought I'd share with you. It's a fully responsive video gallery web app. We see it responding here to the screen size, which is pretty cool. It plays both YouTube and Vimeo videos, and it offers this drop-down that changes the video on the fly. This is kind of a common request with clients. How did we pull this off? Well, let's go in the back end and look at it here. Here I am at the web app itself. I defined three fields. I defined the video ID field, and it's a text field. Now this is really cool too because all your client has to do is grab the ID of the video, not some clunky embed code or something like that. So the, the grabbing the ID is pretty easy too from both Vimeo or YouTube. You just get the share link and grab it from the URL. It's pretty obvious, or the embed uh, code will have it as well. Here's the video type. It's either Vimeo or YouTube, radio choice, and then we have video time, which is an input field, and the name of the item here. So here's the name of the item. We have a little counter here that's being uh, spit out by the web app, and then we have the, the time here. So that seems pretty simple. Really, most of it is jQuery. And we'll get into that here in a second after we look at the actual markup. So, and this HTML I'll share with you. Basically on the page, all we're going to have is the select tag, which is like the housing for all of the web app items, which will be outputting option tags that look just like these here, this commented out code. A couple break tags just to make a little room. Then we have a div with the class of video dash wrapper and an iframe tag inside of it. You'll notice that the source attribute has no value. That's because we're going to define that on the fly. And that the actual iframe itself has an ID of video container. You'll see this later in the JavaScript. So if we scroll all the way to the top, we're going to see that we're just basically calling jQuery. And when the document's ready, we're going to throw some JavaScript here at it. Here's the responsive um, function here for the iframe. Feel free to use this function. Basically, it just takes one um, argument here, and it's going to be the um, class, the parent class here. And in this case, it's video wrapper. You'll see that here later in the script. And then here at the top, we're just defining a bunch of variables. What is this, the select? What's the, what's the iframe here? And then if you wanted to come in and change any of these uh, values, you could like, what is the data attribute for the video ID? And what is the uh, data attribute for video type? These next three variables, we're just defining, defining the landing video. Um, so what is the first option here? what is the uh, the video ID of that option and what is the video type so we're defining the video ID and type of the first option of the first option here so uh, when we land on the page we can have a video and then here should Vimeo's uh, embed or play link change you c or YouTube you could change these out here so in the show video function we're accepting two values here and it's the ID and it's the video type. If it's Vimeo, the video URL is going to be this here. If it's YouTube, it's going to be this. And then we target the iframe's source um, attribute and give it a value of the video ID plus the, um, uh, the video URL plus the ID at the end of it. And so you could come in here and get creative with concatenating, um, concatenating um, autoplay and other values to the end of it. You know, uh, if you don't want to show related videos and all of that stuff for YouTube, you could add that in there. And then here we're basically doing the same thing on change of the drop down itself. And we're throwing the responsive function at it again. That's to make sure that the iframe is, is um, responsive. Otherwise, it just won't resize. And really, that's it. So you've, you may or may have not had a client ask for this. Um, I sure have. And um, this kind of uh, little web app comes in real handy for 
many different projects.